Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel you know what's ready if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos but don't forget to like the video this is the part 15 of our you know wide analysis series and it is the last part of our series so in this video i will tell you that what type of other analysis you can do and include in your you know wide analysis study the first one is the most important that is the expression data of your gene and how you can present them in the type of heat map that how you can get that differential expression gene uh, from publicly available RNA-seq data and then you can present it either in the circular heat map or in the rectangular heat map the another one is the how you can get the promoter region of a whole family in a single click and also present them how you can analyze that promoter region the third one analysis that you can include in your uh, you know wide analysis that was the sentinel analysis that you can show the centenic region that shares among different crop species of your family are between two crops you can include many crops three four five six or only you can compare them between two crops and the fourth one that are the most important one is if you are working on the transporters then this analysis is very important that is the transmembrane analysis that your transporter contains how many type of or how many region of transmembrane analysis and what region is include inside and what includes the outside and the another one is the microRNA that what type of microRNA interact with your protein or your gene and then it regulate us and, and how you can get these sequences uh, of that micro RNA related to your protein family the another one is the protein protein interaction that what type of proteins interact with your protein families or is there any interaction within your protein family and that they interact each other or not the another one was uh, that was the seventh is the gene ontology analysis and KAG analysis you can also include the and also show the pathway that in which pathway your gene is working the I have made the videos on all these analysis and the link of that all videos like how you can get the gene expression data from public available uh, RSA data the link is available like uh, heat map construction uh, video related to one video one that is the circular or the or another one a heat map related heat map related video is related related to the that uh, another method and also that how you can get the promoter region all the links uh, are available that I have already made the video also have that the sentinel analysis if we do the sentence between two species it also have two parts if uh, we can do the sentinel among different species it also have the two parts these are the links that I am showing to you and a transmembrane helices also I have made the video and also the macro RNA or PPI and also I have described that how you can do the gene ontology ontology through different methods method one method two and if you have some uh, feel some errors in gene ontology method then also i have made the videos and show different method to remove that errors come during the gene ontology method and also you this is a beautiful graph that is geo genealogy code you can make it i also made that video on it and also i have made the video on different methods that how you can get the gene ontology ids that are very important for constructing or doing the gene ontology analysis and likewise the gene uh, kagg method that how you can get the kagg ids of your protein family and then use that ids to make the uh, kagg analysis also also show your gene on the kagg pathway that your genes are working on which pathway it will show and also i have made the video on different methods the link of all these videos are available in this video description so you can follow that description link 
and then you can do your analysis and also if this is the another one one is the kg backend file which is very important file for doing the kgg analysis and all these uh, links are available in your video description you can check and uh, click on that link required video link and you can watch that video and follow the steps and you can do the analysis and include it into your genome wide analysis so this is all about our genome wide analysis series hopefully it will help you if you have any query please comment but don't forget to like thank you